Welcome back. The Obama administration unveiling a new rule that they claim will transform the way the financial industry is allowed to give you advice. The rule is also aimed at slowing the billions of dollars in fees paid annually by everyday Americans looking to secure their future. Joining us right now is IRA and retirement expert and author of the highly acclaimed Slot Report, Ed Slot. Ed, good to see you. Great to Thank be you here. Thank you so much Thanks. for joining us. Yeah, the, uh, the uh, Treasury came out with a lot of new rules, and one of them is this so-called fiduciary rule. Tell us about the fiduciary rule, how it impacts financial services, and how we save. Well, it's just about putting customers first, which they should have always been doing. I don't even uh, understand hello. the point yeah. of it. So now you'll have a contract. But if any of you have ever worked with a financial advisor that you trust, sign here, sign here, initial here. Oh, now they're five-page contract. Sign that, too. You don't know what you're signing. But you're, you're, si you're probably <laughs> signing off the fact that they're going to fee you to death. Right? Well, I mean, that's yeah. why the ETF industry has been so successful. Well, the, the fees are still there, except you sign a contract acknowledging that he told you about it, and they're supposed to send you to, say, a website that gives you the fees so you know what you're paying. But long term, remember why you're putting money in retirement. So it, in retirement, you can take it out. It's not even the fees, it's the taxes in retirement. And what retirement advisors should really be doing is getting educated on the taxes. That's where people lose lose their money on all this taxes on the way out. Mm. So yeah. it, it seems like, um, you know, of course, fees being reduced are good, but to the pushback on this, I think, is that the Obama administration, again, coming into business, telling people what they can or can't charge for business, couldn't this lead us down the road where it's state-run retirement plans, which well, I don't think that's would a be great good for point. anybody. That is well, competition would have got there anyway. Some of the big fund companies are down. Some of them are down to 30 basis points. So the market will take care of itself anyway. Right. But really, it comes down to getting an advisor you can trust and that is educated in the retirement tax rules. So you'll have more when you take that money out. But right. isn't a lot of this, Ed, about educating yourself? Because people go yes. in, they don't, they don't want... It's like they want to hand off the responsibility because they don't, it's like I don't, they might not know the intricacies of some of the tax law, but you've got to know, even exactly. if you're going to hire a pro, you've got to know going in what mm. questions to right. ask. Right. I call this a new economy, a yo-yo economy, Y-O-Y-O. Yeah. Y -O. You're on your own. Oh. You have to get educated, but you should demand that your advisors That's are what I was educated. Say, Ed. And they well. should tell you because right. don't be ashamed or embarrassed to ask some silly questions that you may think, oh my gosh, the advisor is not going to want to yeah. hear this. No, no you should ask every stupid. question possible. Thank you. So your tips, your three top tips for retirement planning. The first one is start early. Well, always the greatest single money-making investment anybody can own is time. So obviously, the earlier you start, so as soon as you get your first job. Yeah, and do it. The second tip is do it automatically. Automatically take it off the top of what they say pay yourself first so you don't see the money so you can't spend it that's the best way put it on automatic pilot now you, you say the number two tip is go Roth why the, the, yeah, the last go Roth because I love tax-free because in retirement you want to keep every cent you have and if you can set it up you know years ago when I started there weren't Roths you have tax deferred like people have now 401ks IRAs right and the tax it comes later you'd be better positioned if you could have something tax-free later when you need it but most. But this is an important point because sometimes you, you, you work for a large company and you, you, you have a 401k. Oh, that's good. But then if you leave that company, you no longer have the 401k, you say put the money in a Roth. Right. Well, there's a tax bill, and this is something you have to go over your, with your advisor. Or, like you said, be educated. There is a tax to get that money into tax-free territory. But long term, remember, tax rates are unbelievably low right now, believe it or not. And the number three rule is pay yourself first. Right. Pay yourself first. Take it off the top so you don't even see it. Is everybody on this desk doing that? Yes. <laughs> you should yes. be. Automatic pot, tax free, educated advisor. Make sure your advisor is taking training in the IRA tax rules because that's where everybody's going to lose their money. Not in the stock. Stocks go up and down. It goes up, you make money. It goes down, you lose it. You get your money back when it goes up. But if you lose it to taxes, you're never getting yeah, that money back. Thank you. Right. Yeah, Good it point. sure is. Ed, great advice. Thanks Thank so you. much. Ed Slot joining us there.